If you want to know which exchanges and wallets currently hold your coins, the Coins by Exchange page is just what you need. For each asset there is a chart and a table with the assets that are currently there. Next to the number of assets you will find the name of the exchange or wallet, the value at the time of the transaction, and the current value in your account currency and in BTC. Please note that the value at transaction can be negative if the value of all incoming assets is lower than the value of all outgoing assets. With the filter you can exclude individual types, exchanges, groups, or enter a user-defined time period to see for example the balances and values at a certain date. You can also decide whether you want to group all assets by exchange, by trade group, or by transaction type. Important! If you find any discrepancies in your coin tracking account, this page and the balance by exchange page will help you find them easily. Check if the amount of coins on this page matches your actual exchange balance. If this is not the case or some coins show up with a negative amount, then you either did not import all your transactions into coin tracking, made a mistake during the import, or possibly have duplicate transactions in the account. In such a case, go to the incorrect exchange or wallet and import or re-import all historical transactions. If you can't get to certain transactions, enter them manually on the Enter Coins page. If you have duplicate entries, you can delete them there as well. After each import, check that the data on this page matches your actual exchange and wallet data. The exception is a negative fiat value when you track your investment as a negative balance and do not import deposits and withdrawals in your account currency. At the bottom of the page you will find a summary of all your assets with their value at transaction and the current value. Use this page regularly to get a good overview of the location of your coins and other assets.